Hey, sir, everybody, this is a breaking news. TikTok CEO quits as Trump administration plans ban. And of course, yes, the CEO has quit because of Trump administration plans ban. And of course, as you can see, here's the CEO of TikTok. TikTok Chief Executive Officer Kevin Mayer has resigned just months after taking the helm of the viral short video app, stepping out to, of the crossfire as the Trump administration targets the business owned by China's ByteDance LTD. Yes, yeah, so TikTok um, Chief Executive Officer's name is Kevin Mayer. Um, he has resigned just months after taking the helm of the viral short video app. Um, he was he's stepping out of the crossfire as the Trump administration targets the breaking of the I mean of the business owned by China's ByteDance LTD. Mayor told employees of his decision in an internal memo, and a company spokeswoman confirmed his resignation. Vanessa Papas currently general manager of ByteDance Prize International Service will take his place. So now that um, the CEO has resigned, the spokeswoman is now going to take his place. And of course, you know why? Because they want to collect more data on people who are using the TikTok's um, Chinese spying app that's, uh, that millions of people are using. Mayor joined TikTok as CEO in May, leaving one of the top jobs at the Walt Disney Company for more than a decade. He helped the world's largest entertainment company stay strategies and expand its offerings. He provided the rationale for acquiring Pixar, Emanation Studios, Marvel Entertainment, Lucasfilm, and the entertainment asserts of 21st Century Fox Incorporated for $71 billion in March. Mayor's appointment by ByteDance has been expected to smooth relations between the social media giant and Washington and enforce the notion that TikTok operates as a separate entity from its Beijing-based parent. Uh, no, it does not operate separate because it's, Yahweh is also in the middle of it too because they own TikTok as well. So the CEO, he took his, has joined in May. Of course, he's leaving one of the top jobs at the Walt Disney Company that bought out the fake news. And this is for more than a decade. He helped the world's largest entertainment company strategize and expand its offerings. Um, he also has provided the rationale for acquiring Pixar Animation Studios, Marvel Entertainment, Lucasfilm, and the entertainment assets of 21st Century Fox Incorporated. And this was all for 71 billion dollars in March all right so that's how much it was worth a uh, mayor's appointment by fight dance has had been expected to smooth relations between the social media giant and Washington as well um, tech TikTok is operates as a separate entity from its Beijing based parent and like I said no it does it because Yahweh is also in that mess. But his role has been in question for weeks. Hired to run TikTok's global operations, Mayor was in instead pulled into a likely breakup of the business as the Trump administration pressed for a sale of the U.S. division because of its alleged threat to national security Microsoft Corp has confirmed it's in negotiations to buy TikTok's operations in the U.S., Canada, Australia, and New Zealand, while Oracle Corp. 
is also considering a bid. Bloomberg News has reported, and of course, you know you can't really rely on Bloomberg News, so they're another fake news. But um, but he said, but it says, but his role has been in question for weeks. So why do you think CEOs are stepping down from these um tech giants like Yahweh, Google, Amazon, um, YouTube, any Facebook, Twitter? Why do you think CEOs are over the who knows how long, how many years that they quit? It's because of human trafficking that nobody is talking about. And of course, um, Trump's administration pressed for a sale of the U.S. division because of its alleged threat to national security. Yeah, they're collecting your data off your phone, and you don't even know it that they're doing it. In recent weeks, as the political and environment has sharply changed, I have done significant reflection on what the corporate structural changes will require and what it means for the global role I signed up for, Mayor said in an in internal memo obtained by Bloomberg News. I understand that the role that I signed up for, including running TikTok globally, will look very different as a result of the U.S. administration's action to push for a sell-off of the U.S. business. Yeah, so Trump wants to separate TikTok from the U.S. In other words, it's a Chinese spy app. It, co it collects your data for facial recognition for the artificial intelligence. All right, that's what it's being used for. Um, also, it is a what what the CEO has said. Mayor said, as an internal memo obtained by Bloomberg News, I understand that the role that I signed up for, including running TikTok globally, will look very different as a result of the U.S. administrations. Yeah, so it's gonna look a whole lot different once TikTok is banned out of the U.S. for good. All right, the Trump administration impending ban on TikTok has further worsened tensions between Beijing and Washington, which has leveled sanctions against a plethora of Chinese giants from Tencent Holdings LTD to Yahweh Technologies Company on grounds they pose a threat to national security. A representative for the White House didn't immediately respond to a request for comment on Mayor's departure, which the Financial Times first reported. You know, so the Trump administration did um, was a pending ban on TikTok has further worsened tensions between between Beijing and Washington. In other words, the nation's capital. Um, which has leveled sanctions against a plethora of Chinese giants from Tencent Holdings, LTD. That means Yahweh a te Technologies Company on grounds they pose a threat to national security. So that's what they're saying, that it is a threat to the U.S. and to the security system as well. A representative for the White House didn't immediately respond to a request <coughs> for a comment on the mayor's departure, so they didn't immediately respond to the White House at all. We are working quickly to find resolutions to the issues that we face globally, particularly in the U.S. and India. ByteDance founder Zhang Yiming said in a separate memo obtained by Bloomberg announcing mayor's recognition. Yes, yeah, so they're trying to find a, 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 re, a resolution to the issues that they face globally, particularly in the U.S. and India. 
of ByteDance founder Zhang Yiming said in a separate memo obtained by Bloomberg announcing Mayor's um, resignation as well. Mayor's department comes days after TikTok asked a federal judge to block the Trump administration from enacting a ban on the first or on the fast-growing social media network, bringing a geopolitical fight over technology and trade into U- a U.S. courtroom. TikTok and its Chinese parent, ByteDance, sued on Monday in federal court in Los Angeles to challenge an August 6 order from President Donald Trump prohibiting U.S. residents from doing business with TikTok. Trump says TikTok is a security risk for user data. So yes, Trump is right about that. He is saying that TikTok is a security risk for user data. So in other words, whenever you're on TikTok or something, doing something like dancing or whatever, they're collecting your data and they're transferring it to the artificial intelligence that they want to use against you because they want to see what your emotions are whether you're happy sad angry upset not feeling well whatever a mayor's departure comes days after tiktok after asked a federal judge to block the trump administration from enacting a ban on the fast-growing social media network all right so that's what they that's what he did. Um, TikTok and its Chinese parent ByteDance sued on Monday in federal court in Los Angeles to challenge an August 6 order from President Donald Trump prohibiting U.S. residents from doing business with TikTok. Well, if TikTok is being a threat to the U.S. because it's a Chinese-made app, of course it's going to be a threat to the security and to the U.S. as well. It's not like it's going to be staying here forever. So that's why Donald Trump is doing what he's doing to get rid of TikTok. He said, oh, you got to go. The company said the president's decision was made for political reasons. It's unconstitutional and violates rights to due process. On August 14, Trump ordered ByteDance to sell its U.S. assets and said the U.S. should receive a cut of the proceeds. Now that I agree. It should receive part of the proceeds. I agree with that part. Of course, the company did say the president's decision was made for political reasons. What political reasons? Because these Democrats want to use it for political reasons because uh, they're evil. They'll do anything to blame a lot of stuff on Donald Trump that he has nothing to do with. Whenever the Democrats do something wrong, oh, we're going to blame Donald Trump so we can get out of it. That's how they are. On August 14, Trump ordered ByteDance to sell its U.S. assets and said the U.S. should receive a cut of the proceeds. And yes, it should. Well, other bidders potentially inserted in the assets include Twitter, Inc., the social media companies among the U.S., tech films that have exploded, or explored, I'm sorry, possible bids, though it's unclear how far those talks have gone, according to multiple people familiar with the deliberations. And we know who's the CEO of Twitter, Jack Dorsey himself. So now he's going to want to look into it now? Uh, no, because um, he's been taking down people's accounts that vi- that allegedly violates their guidelines when they haven't so jack dorsey is definitely being a real pain in the butt right now he's already censoring conservatives on twitter taking down accounts twitter accounts and that what why why would he even want tiktok to begin with so he could use it for his personal gang and people are 
not doing what Jack Dorsey wants her to do, he's going to ban those accounts too? Come on. Give somebody else a chance to buy the TikTok because it's a, U a threat to the U.S. and it's a Chinese-made app. We appreciate that the political dynamics of the last few months have significantly changed what the scope of Kevin's role would be going forward and fully respect his decision, the TikTok spokeswoman said in a separate statement. Yes, yeah, so this is what she has said. She said, we appreciate that the political dynamics of the last few months have significantly changed what the scope of Kevin's role will be going forward. Um, she also says I fully respect his decision and this is what the TikTok spokeswoman said in a separate statement obviously. Um, but yeah, I would not trust TikTok because once Donald Trump ban bans it out of the US, that's it. There is no getting it back or anything like that because it's time for TikTok to go literally. Leave your comments below. I am out.